Hello and welcome to day 9 of my 31 Days of Horror. I'm Joey Hollywood, and I bet at this point you're wondering, I wonder what Joey's favorite werewolf movie is. Well, you can look no farther than The Howling from 1981. To me, this is the best werewolf movie ever made. Yes, even better than American Werewolf in London. If you disagree with me, that's fine, but I love this movie. I haven't seen it in quite a few years, so I was pretty happy to see that one of you guys recommended it for my 31 Days of Horror. And as I revisited this horror classic, I realized something that I probably should have known. This movie was directed by Joe Dante. If you don't know who that is, he directed Gremlins 1 and 2, Inner Space, and many other great movies. And watching it again with that knowledge, I can see his fingerprint on this movie. The movie follows a character who is struggling with selective amnesia after a traumatizing experience. Due to her doctor's order, she goes up to a colony for recuperation. And as the movie unfolds, a lot of strange things begin happening around her. This movie doesn't really follow the standard werewolf lore. Silver bullets, full moon, and things like that. These werewolves can transform at any point, and they don't have to be under a full moon or night for that matter. I know to some people that might sound like a dumb idea, but in the context of the movie, I think it works really, really well. The transformation sequences are awesome. Every bit as great as the one in American Werewolf in London. And the werewolves in this look pretty dang cool, too. And though the humor is not as straightforward as it is in American Werewolf in London, this movie's kind of funny, too. Just little things that break the tension. This is one of my favorite werewolf movies of all time, and I'm glad you guys chose it for my 31 Days of Horror. If you have not seen this movie, definitely check it out. Screen Factory has a release of it that I'm definitely going to pick up the next time I have money. I'm Joey Hollywood, and thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow in day 10 of my 31 Days of Horror.